So okay guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up Area 2C in your terminal and use it to download legally obtained torrent files or magnet links. In our particular case, I want to download this Kali Linux image. How would I go about doing that? Well, if you take a look at Area 2C, we first of all actually have to install this. So to install it, just type in sudo apt-get install Area 2. I know it's not called Area 2C in this particular case, but bear with me, every time after this, when we go to type this command in, it will be referred to as area 2c. So type in sudo apt-get install area 2, hit enter, and that will begin downloading the program. Now if the program doesn't download for you or you're having issues, check out your repository list. And if that doesn't solve the problem, perhaps give area 2c's GitHub a look. I believe you can also download the program through their GitHub page. Anyway, since I already got the program installed and I don't really want to upgrade it right now, I'm going to delete that and go up and we're going to type in man area 2c. Well, my terminal is a little bit delayed there. We're going to type in man area 2c and hit enter. If the manual page pops up, that means you did everything correctly and the program is working. I always suggest looking at the manual page because this explains a lot of other functions that Area 2 can do that you guys may want to take advantage of. Now in our particular case, I'm just going to be showing you guys the bare basics in terms of how to use it. So how exactly would we use it? If you take a look at the synopsis here, all you got to do is type in Area 2C and you would give it some options now if you wanted to, but if you didn't, you just put some quotes here and paste in your URL, magnet link, or torrent file. In our case, I'm going to go over to our torrent file, right click it, copy link address, paste it into our terminal, end quote it, hit enter, and that will begin downloading our Kali Linux 64-bit installer torrent file. Now let's say this download is going to take forever and we have to turn our machine off or oops, we lost the page or we lost power. How would we go about, well, re-resuming this download? As you can see, there's no way we possibly could. I mean, we could go up in the timeline in our history and, um, you know, resume it that way or maybe make a note. But let's say we didn't do that. Let's say our terminal forgot what we last typed in or we didn't take a good clear note. Well, Area 2C's got you covered here in terms of torrent files because the moment you download a torrent file, it actually downloads the torrent file and the download as well. Now with the torrent file, you can easily use that to resume your download. So let's type in area 2c, put our quotes, basically you copy this, paste it in, end quote it, hit enter, and that will resume our download. It should say here download resumed somewhere, but I'm not going to look through it and read it. But as you can see, our download is indeed going. But I'm not going to sit here and wait for this to download. I'm actually going to cancel it, and I'm going to explain one downside to Area 2C in terms of magnet links. In terms of magnet links, it doesn't download a copy of the URL to the directory, either in text form or anything. Instead, it, that leaves you with a area2.resume file. Now you think you could type in the same exact command like before to C and then quote it and then type in area.2 in the resume file name. In our case, that doesn't work. So how would we go about converting the area2 resume file back into a normal magnet link that we can paste back into here? Well, there's no easy way to do that. You could check the manual page out here, but if we search for magnet link, you see there ain't many results and there's no explanation when it comes to resuming these. So what I found out when it comes to resuming these magnet links, you have to convert the area2.resume file and thankfully there's a program available. I'll link it down below in the description if you guys wish to download it. But it's basically just your normal HTML file. You open that up, you hit choose file, and you then you can select your area2.resume file. I know this kind of breaks the whole, oh, I can only download things through the terminal because you can't actually use this in the terminal, but it's a one downside, like I said, Area 2C has. So basically, to resume a magnet link, you'd hit choose file, select the area2.resume file, and it will spit out a magnet link code under here. I'll try to have a screenshot of what that would look like, but basically, you would copy the code, put it in here, paste it, and then hit enter, and that would resume your magnet link. 
Like I said, it's a bit complicated and sorry I couldn't actually find a magnet link in time for this video to demonstrate that with. But yeah, as you can see, Area 2C isn't that hard to use. However, I do suggest using the command screen, which I covered in a previous video. If you have no idea what screen does, it's a godsend of a program, so be sure to check out the previous video on that, because you can use screen and Area 2C in conjunction with each other to, let's say, um, let me go back to that torrent link real quick. We could, let's say, uh, download a torrent file and then minimize it so we can continue working on other stuff if we wish. We can even download more than one thing at once now because screen lets you do that. Anyway, like I said at the start of the video, be sure to check out the manual page because there's a lot of arguments here that you can type into Area 2C to make it tons, of, make it do tons of other functions as well as download other file types. You can download URLs, you can download and upload at specific rates. Let's say you have bad internet, can't upload a lot. You can limit your upload to like 30, 20 kilobits or something and then your internet would be fine and you'd still be able to download a certain file without interfering with your network. Overall, a lot of stuff to mess with in here, way too much to cover in one video, so perhaps if you guys are interested enough, we can cover this again in another video at another time. But for now, I think I'm going to leave this video off here. DTPK signing off. Peace. Now, Wish Rockets are a very easy experiment to replicate. All you really need is a barbecue igniter, use the protoboard. The protoboard is just, um, okay for the buttons, pretty much, for the D-pad.